Hey everybody, welcome to Waldock Way. I'm Jessica and today is day two of our back to school week. Today's video is going to be where I finally announce what our one thing is for our upcoming school year. And in case you have no clue what I'm talking about, the one thing that I announce every year is the one thing that I have chosen to prioritize in our homeschool. So sometimes it's something that I just want to incorporate because we're not doing, or sometimes it's something I want to be doing more of. And what I have found over the past four years that we've homeschooled is that by picking one thing that I want to be really good at or really be doing a lot of by the end of the school year, it allows me to focus on it. It allows me to make sure that it's being done, prioritize it, and then by the end of the school year, it has become second nature and it kind of gets absorbed into our routine or rhythm. So by the next school year, when I add something else, it's already become second nature and it's not like I'm trying to juggle all of these things at one time. It just makes it easier to slowly build upon and get one thing just really good every year. Some of the things we have done in the past have been read alouds, games or game schooling, nature study, and then last year we chose poetry tea time. And you can see more about that up here. So without further ado, I am going to tell you that our one thing this year is art. And I was actually overruled on that one. We were sitting down together because we always sit down together as a family to discuss things like this. And I threw a few ideas out there and simultaneously Emily and Kevin both said art. They share a passion for it. If you own any of the Wild Way products, you know that my husband does all of the artwork for them. He is an amazing artist. So it really didn't surprise me that that's what they chose. And what I try to do when I decide or we decide what our one thing is, is I set myself up for success. So I either get resources or fun ideas or I make our schedule or routine in such a way that I can set myself up for success to make sure that that one thing has a place or a time and things that I can easily pull and make sure that it's happening. So last year when we did poetry tea time, I obviously bought stuff to make tea time more fun. So this year, since we're doing art, I became a member for a few different things. I purchased a few different things. And Kevin is also going to be putting together like a little mini class for Emily as well. So Kevin is going to be teaching her sketching and drawing. We will also be using Art Hub for Kids. We love that. It's free on YouTube. Um, I will link their channel up here for you guys. And then I became, or I have been, and we will continue to be complete clubhouse members for Chalk Pastel You Are an Artist. You can see a few of their free video art lessons here as well. They cover chalk pastels and acrylics in their membership. We also became a I think, I'm not sure she calls it a complete, but a full member for Masterpiece Society, which is Alicia Greathouse, and she does a lot of multimedia projects. And then we also decided to purchase her art curriculum, which is Art Appreciation and Enrichment, and it covers 12 famous artists, um, and there's just a plethora of stuff in there. Each artist is about 50 pages, so there is a ton to do. We are planning to do about one artist a month. We'll see how that goes. Um, if you would like to see more of this curriculum, let me know. I'll be happy to do a look inside for you guys, but that is something else that we added in so that we're not only doing tons of art projects, but that we're also learning about famous artists as well. And then I also decided that I wanted, um, to do watercolor. So I purchased three different watercolor books. We have 15 minute watercolor masterpieces. And then we have the watercolor with me in the forest and watercolor with me in the ocean. And then I purchased both of us one of the um, Arteza, I believe it is a watercolor or multimedia, let's see. It's a watercolor booklet, so it's just a landscape watercolor booklet. And I purchased us both new watercolor palettes and the watercolor paintbrushes. So we each have a set. And I went to Michael's and bought a cute little tote to keep all of the watercolor stuff in because we are really, really good at nature study. And I thought that if I had all of this stuff in a tote, I would be able to incorporate some of our art into our nature study by just taking this outside. So that is my plan with this tote is to just be able to grab it and take it outside and do some um, nature study and art mixed together. 
And then in case you didn't see my routine video from yesterday, I will link it up here for you guys. But if you did see it, you know that I have already allotted a place for our art to be making sure that it's happening. And that is on that sixth school day. So that is the one thing that will happen on that sixth school day, no matter what. We will always start with our art project and then we will maybe play games or maybe do a tea time or do nature study with our art, but every sixth day, no matter what, we will be doing an art project of some kind to make sure that there is a place for it in our homeschool and that it's not getting lost or forgotten or falling through the cracks. So that is our one thing this year. It is going to be art. I am semi excited. I'm trying to be excited. Art is not my favorite thing in the world. I'm not the best at it, but I'm excited to spend this year getting better at it and cultivating that interest for Emily and also kind of seeing where um, Kevin takes over a little bit because this is definitely his thing. So I'm excited for him to have a little bit more of a hand in our homeschool as far as teaching goes this year. Today's giveaway is for the Masterpiece Society Complete Volume 1 and to art appreciation curriculum. To enter to win, you must be a subscriber, like this video, and leave a comment.